So if you're a salesperson that usually makes X number of calls a day or sees X number of people a day and you're used to this type of conversion and that makes you know, me this much money at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I just encourage you and I challenge you to shift your focus to building relationships with those that you do and want to do business with. And as you do, you will focus on not thinking about money making, but you'll truly think about the power of making money in the process of making money. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh! That's right, Sales Wolves Podcast, episode 167. And the title of this episode is Money Making versus Making Money. And no perfect time than amidst this crisis that we are still in, uh, state by state, county by county, city by city, we are going to be coming out of this crisis uh, in different forms and in a different timeline. But for salespeople out there, for those of you that are in the business of sales, I know this has been a frustrating period of time for you. Uh, it's been a frustrating period of time for us. But when I get back to the title of this episode, money making versus making money, I'm talking about the effort that you're putting in during this crisis, the effort that you have chosen, the activity that you've chosen to participate in the things that you knew you could do during this time and know you can do during this time that can set you up for success as we come out of this crisis. And when you look at money making versus making money, it can be very frustrating to see your close ratio or conversion going down during this time. You're reaching out to potential customers, potential clients, and just amidst all of what's going on, they're just not ready to make a buying decision. So all of that stuff is very real and it can be real frustrating. But if you choose to focus your efforts on the relationship building acts, uh, aspect of making those phone calls of dropping by of writing handwritten notes, that the success of that interaction is for you to forge a greater relationship with that person, to create a relationship with that person, to build that rapport with that person. There's a big difference between a money making an activity versus an activity that will end up making you money. And so you can get bogged down in your conversions. You can get bogged down in your quotas. You can get bogged down in the number of sales that you're used to making in a day, used to making in a week, used to making in a month and seeing that go down. That is something that can keep you down if you stay there. But if you focus on the relationship aspect and realize that right now, more than ever, people just want to be heard. They want to know that they're being thought of. They want to know that someone is looking out for their best interests and to be able to just reach out to them and have a conversation of, man, how have you been doing through this time? How have things been going with your business? How have things been going on with you personally? How has this been affecting you? And create that open dialogue to where you can have a real conversation with that potential customer, with that potential client or existing you have the opportunity to build a strong relationship that will last. And not only will it last through this crisis, it'll last for years and years and years because that's where loyalty is built. It's built through relationships. All of selling is relationships where you're, whether you're in a very fast paced, highly transactional environment, uh, like our agents are in the field, or you're in a sales cycle that's much longer months, maybe even a year, or more to close and uh, inevitably close that deal. It all boils down to relationships. And so, yeah, when you make those 50 phone calls today, you may have less success in the monetary value that's created, the commission that's created, 
But what can you create through those relationships that a few weeks from now, a few months from now will turn into an avalanche of business for you? So I want you to stop focusing on, okay, what are my money making activities and start focusing more on what are the activities I can do right now that will make me money down the road? Because in all honesty, a lot of the businesses, a lot of the places where you guys are working, where you guys are involved in, it's tough right now. It's tough to get somebody to sign a contract. It's tough when they're laying off people and furloughing employees and, and dealing with massive revenue losses to get them to, to close a deal. But it's not tough to build a relationship. It takes effort, but it's not tough. And it's in those relationships. It's in the process of building those relationships that the money will follow. When the intent is right on the front end, the money will always follow. So if you're a salesperson that usually makes X number of calls a day or sees X number of people a day, and you're used to this type of conversion, and that makes you know, me this much money at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I just encourage you and I challenge you to shift your focus to building relationships with those that you do and want to do business with. And as you do, you will focus on not thinking about money making, but you'll truly think about the power of making money and the process of making money, which all boils down to relationships. That's it, guys. This is a short Sales Wolves podcast this time, episode 167. I hope you take that to heart and you implement it in your business. And as always, we'd love to hear feedback from you. So shoot me a DM, a Facebook message. And while you are here watching the podcast, make sure you go over to iTunes and leave us a review. Let us know what you've gotten out of the podcast 167 episodes later. It would mean the world to me uh, for you to do that. So with that, guys, as always, I am Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh!